Hi, Claude Pallon here at Affiliate Starting Line. Welcome. This is a continuation of the cPanel series, and this uh, video is going to be about the Databases panel. The Databases panel, as you can see here, can be found midway down the screen, and it consists of four different icons, four different functions. The first one is called MySQL Databases. So let's take a look and see what it does. MySQL Databases is the area where you can come in and create a database. And how do you do that? Pretty simple. You'll come in here to this box. It'll have your main uh, prefix, which is your main title for your blog, the user. And then you'll add in the name of the database you're creating right behind it, under the, after the underscore. Once you do that, you create database, and you're basically done. Um, you will see below here that there are modified databases functions. You can check databases you already have if you're having any, any problems or you want to make sure that they're functioning properly. You can repair databases. There's some uh, standard things that I guess this function can do. You can keep track of your databases. It will list them. And if, this, if the list is long, you can see it continues down here. You can add users to have access to specific databases in your list if you need that. That might come in handy if in a training situation where you have different trainers uh, needing to have access. This is where you create the username and the passwords. You create the new user. You come down here, select the user. Come down, select the database you want that user to have access to. You click Add, and that's how you do it. So this is the area where you, you create and, uh, and manage the user access to your databases. Second function is MySQL Database Wizard. Now, in this particular case, this simply is a replication of what we just did. It's, uh, it's simply a single function screen that allows you to create uh, databases. It allows you to focus and not worry about all the, the other attendant uh, distract, visual distractions and just makes it easier to focus on what you want to do. PHP admin. Uh, this is an area where you can come in and manage the different databases you have file by file. So on the left hand sidebar you'll have your list of databases, you'll come into them and then it'll show a specific database you've selected with the different files in it. Uh, I wouldn't really mess with this either. I'd let customer service play with this if you have a problem with a database. I do occasionally come in here however and select a database, look for the options file Usually it's the one with the most records, and you can do that by selecting the record column and bringing it up. And then I'll go in here and click search, and it'll give me the name of the, of the website that is affiliated directly with that database. That's the way I can kind of keep track of which website is affiliated with which database if I ever get confused, because your database doesn't designate a name. It, it's usually it's an alphanumeric number, and so in order to keep track of which database works with which site, I use this uh, PHP My Admin tool and this procedure to do it. So, but generally speaking, PHP Admin uh, is where you manage the various files, the various tabs perform different functions. You can import, export data, and and do all sorts of stuff here. But I would let a database manager uh, do that for you if you have any questions about uh, one of your databases. The last uh, uh, function here is the remote. MySQL, this, is, uh, this allows you to have access to your databases from an outside server, outside of your web host environment. Again, I wouldn't worry about doing anything here until you uh, were better and familiar and more confident about working with your MySQL databases. So that is it. That is the database panel of your cPanel. This is where you create them and, and, and manage the user access. This is where you can create it. This is where you can manage the interior different files and specific databases. This is where you can access by, by, uh, from a remote server. That's it. I hope this has been helpful. Stay with it. Stay well. This is Claude Pallon at Affiliate Starting Line, and we'll talk to you soon.